Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. In today's video, we're going to be interviewing Chris from American Contractors Academy about a badass new target that we're going to be bringing to market. Today I'm here with Chris from American Contractors Academy. This is my, one of my buddies. We've been friends for a number of years and um, Chris wanted to actually get into the market and design a proprietary new target. So I'll let Chris kind of introduce himself and talk a little bit about um, who he is at American Contractors Academy. Hi, I'm Chris Bragg, American Contractors Academy. You know, we started as a school and we're a steel fabrication company, but we were looking for something to kind of fill in you know, materials for, you know, students to learn on and uh, basically give us a little bit of uh, fabrication in between projects and students. So it's just more of a learning thing for them. But, you know, we're also doing it as a, you know, a real production type, you know, situation. So, but the targets, uh, basically, you know, I, I, I'm kind of one of the redneck guys where you know, I'm looking for stuff to shoot out in the hills, you know, and I'll grab an old TV or, a, you know, and it, you know, makes a big mess, you know, and then usually when you get out in the sticks, there's nowhere to set it really, you know, you're looking for a tree or you're yeah. looking for a, you know, you try to find like a place to lean it or, yeah. yeah. And half the time it's just always a battle because, you know, yeah. like it falls over or, yeah. you know, you can't really find a good spot. Yeah. So the idea between our targets was I wanted a little more variety. You know as far as you know like fun yeah, I, yeah. I see in the market there's a lot of you know there's a circle there's kind of a square shape you know or a reactive target or you know just kind of basic stuff and a yeah. lot a lot of it is uh expensive and you know it's just it's not easy to set up either yeah, a lot of yeah. the stands you know you, you'll see it's just it, it they're kind of generic i think yeah you know? absolutely and then from uh, what I've read and what people have told me a lot of times, the stands just kind of disintegrate. I've never actually purchased one. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, what I find most of the time is that the stands end up being um, either way overkill or way underkill kind right. of stuff. You know, it's yeah. like they have these elaborate stand setups and then nothing to shoot at that hangs off of them. Or it's this awesome target, but there's nothing to really hang it on that's viable, you right. know, or it ends up you set it up and you go out there and you take three shots and the thing flips over and, you know, ends up in the dust. Uh, we have we have a couple of different varieties, but uh, the, the one that is under development that we want to really push, and we're still doing research, you know, that's part of what we're doing a little bit with Ryan too. We're testing and, and we're learning, you know, there's, there's things that we're changing. Uh, it's going to be called uh, one of the the primary ones. It's going to be a, a full man silhouette with with basically posable arms, legs. You know, it's just gonna so it'll it'll be segmented and it'll have you know rotating pieces and spring loaded pieces. So it's just kind of a, a big variety, and That's I think true. it'll be a lot of fun to shoot. You know, yeah. Just, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of focus on uh, like core, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like uh, chest and head. Yeah. And that's, you know, yeah, if you're trying to kill somebody, fine. Yeah. But if you're going into the sticks just to have fun and like hone your skill, yeah, it's harder to hit, you know. Yeah, like, correct. Yeah, you pieces. can, yeah, if you can hit an inch wide little piece in the arm, yeah, you can. Yeah, that. it's just fine. You know? it, it helps your uh, build skill. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, what would you say is the pull to this target over somebody else's target? Like, why would I walk into a store and see your setup and be like, oh, I think. I should buy that one. I think primarily because it's unique. Okay. You know, there's not really a whole lot Just like the, it as we were talking. Yeah, I mean, thing. there's there's a uh, you know a lot of silhouettes. Yeah. You know, like. Just a core, and they, they look really blocky. It's kind of like yeah, Minecraft. Yeah. It looks like a block. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So our goal is to make it, you know, kind of resemble more of like a person and their their dimension to where they're man sized. Okay. You know, yeah, so they're real. I mean, real size. Yeah. Life size. And that means you know they're also heavy, but well, that's, that's why we're segmenting and yeah, you know, and so we're we're building a stand, you know, specifically for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how much does everything weigh then? Because we're talking like. Yeah. Obviously, that seems super cool, but then you start talking. Well, geez, a six yeah. foot piece of steel is a, is a lot of weight. So, yeah. how much do your how much do the pieces weigh? How do you how are you combating that? Yeah. So the only way we can combat it is basically make everything 
with some res assembly required in the field, right? Yeah. Unless you're like a business and you you have the sand set up permanently, you know. Yeah, yeah. But basically, he, he you can buy it in pieces uh, for one to cut down cost. Yeah. You know, with like if somebody can't afford the whole body. Yeah. Right. Because it is a lot. I mean, it's, yeah. it's AR five hundred plate. Yeah, it's not cheap, and it, <laughs> it's a man size. So yeah. the idea is to make it you know smaller and affordable, but also you're able to build it yeah. by yourself, right? Yeah. And it just kind of. But it's, it's in pieces. I mean, there's no way to get around from it unless you have a forklift sitting out in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Right. So what is, uh, I'm assuming, is your stand? Is the idea like you, you've got this stand and then later on the man size target will go in it. But what goes in, like in the meantime, what goes in there? What yeah. are you guys putting in it? So we have a few different stands that, that, we're, okay. that we're having fun with right now. Cool. So uh, the one is a universal type stand. And we were kind of joking about it the other day because I'm like, you can hang a hammock on this thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's so you can, <laughs> you know, if you're if you're out hunting and you want to hang some, you know, meat, yeah, or, game or, or whatever, yeah. And we we've got it built to where it, you know it folds pretty comfortably. It holds about 600 pounds, and wow. it, and it weighs about 40 pounds. Yeah. So wow. And it's all it's all adjustable as far as width, height, and then we also have the legs built to where, you know, out in the field or or in the desert, you're not always on a perfect flat level plane, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. So all of the feet adjust of okay, different so elevations. One up, one down, that kind Yeah, of exactly. Oh, so you're awesome. out there and you got a big rock. Yeah. You know, it'll it hold it up. But the the idea between the whole stand is we developed it, like I said, universal. So we have our target line, which has basically it's a it's a hook system. Okay. Right? A hook and a clamp system. Okay. The great thing about it that we've uh, designed it for, you don't have to buy the stand. You can buy a two by four if you want. Okay. And hang it there and use the hooks, you know, or you can, you know, set it up on some square tubing. You can get it at Home Depot. I mean, what that makes me think of is a lot of places you have to buy their stand yeah. and then you have to buy their hooks and you have to buy their plates yeah. or whatever. So what you're saying is, Half of it is, well, maybe even more than half of yeah. it is standalone where you could just actually yeah. get the hangers and go hang it on two by fours and exactly. stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. That's can, pretty cool. You can buy whatever you like and just do it in pieces. Yeah, that's You know, cool. that's that's to help us and to help every, you know, not everybody can spend, you know, three, four hundred yeah. you know, yeah. dollars, you know. Yeah, Somebody just wants to spend 20, 30. Yeah. So I think it's really cool. The, the hanging, uh, the hook style that we have with our brackets, uh, there are some comparable in the market, but a lot of them are designed for vertical facing, you know, and with bullets, you always want to have try to yeah, a little have a little angle, angle repose. So yeah. we've, we've built our hook system to do that. So no matter okay. where, you, where you hang it, it's going to have that angle built yeah. into it. Okay, yeah. cool. So you're not only getting, uh, you're not only losing the energy from the pendulum, yeah. you're also losing it and it's getting directed. It's even safer. Is yeah. What I'm saying, you know. Cool. I think so. What is the process of actually setting up the stand? What does that look like? Um, you know, how do you go about getting it from the truck to right. standing status? So, so we've tried to design everything to where if you're by yourself, you can do it. Okay. You know? cool. And and the the universal stand, I could probably set up by myself in less than five minutes, really. Okay. Because everything is is built and it's adjustable and it's all just through pins, right? So there's no tools required. It's just basically, it's a self-contained little unit. So yeah. that's, a, that's the universal stand. The other one that we have more for our reactive targets, but again, we've designed it to use, you can set up two by four. So if you had two of them, you could actually create a whole shooting range. You could have you know two yeah, reactive targets and then you could have the swingers in between. Yeah, yeah. So it's all depending on whoever's budget, you know, how much you want to spend, but we offer, you know, basically from all the way down to, you know, almost nothing to, yeah, hundreds. But the the other style stand, and we're still deciding on a name actually. But it, it's a it's a self contained unit, and it basically breaks down. There's no tools required, and it you know sockets into each other and sets up. How far do you plan on taking this thing? Like I know the goal is going to be the man size target. And that's kind of the really, in my opinion, that's the coolest thing. That's what yeah. catches everybody's eye because they're like, wow, what is this? This is something new and yeah. cool. Is that? The end goal? Do you have plans on taking these targets further into anything? Do you? Uh, what are you thinking? Are you guys just kind of having fun with it for now, or what's up? We're we're trying to do a little bit. You know, we're having fun, and and we want to take it further. Uh, the real goal is to make a, a better product, okay. right? And have fun with it yeah. along the way. So, uh, 
we're experimenting with it in development. We're trying to get rid of uh, welded assemblies. Okay. Because when you weld AR and you heat it up, it reduces the hardness. It makes it softer. Okay. So it's more prone to divoting and bending. And, you know. Okay. So the idea is if we can get away from heating the material at all, you've got original strength. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? yeah. So that's not easy to do, right? When you're talking yeah. uh, assemblies that pivot and spin and... Yeah, absolutely. You know. And well, when we're talking a lot of force and a lot of pressure too, when you're hitting stuff yeah. with a with a round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, okay. some of it's experimentation, you know, but, uh, you know, we're going to do some testing today and see if we actually have some of the stuff that we have built without Sweet. welds that we can try and you know, just throw everything at it. And see if it Sweet. And like Chris said, we're going to head out to the range today. Uh, we're going to go to Pro Gun Vegas. They were nice enough to give us a lane out at the gun club to awesome. test our uh, test our equipment. So we're going to take Chris's team and a few of my guys out and uh, do a little bit of shooting and see if we can bust this target. So um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. What What have you? Um, what was the challenge like? Like American Contractors Academy, you guys do a lot of millwright type work and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So the leap between that and here, what did it take for you to wrap your head around like we're shooting projectiles at you know, like it's a different game for you. So was yeah. that difficult or how did you how did you guys get through that? It's interesting, you know, you have a you have an idea, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go it just like it's just like me, I'm gonna go invent a, a new soda. Yeah. Right? I mean, I've never created sodas before, so then you start doing research, you know, and you just say, oh, what works, you know, you interview people who yeah. shoot steel targets all the time, you know, yeah. and I've always just been like this hobby shooter, you know, just, like I said, whatever you can find, yeah, cans, boots, you know, yeah. whatever, it just, it always creates a mess, you're always cleaning it up, so, you know, it's interesting, you know, just trying to uh, basically create something cool and better, Yeah, you know, you know like I said, we, we did the research and design, and it's like there's not really that much variety really yeah yeah really you look at it it's funny how that works like you get into certain industries and you're thinking like my god how do you accomplish that but once you really break it down at the end it's like oh yeah, yeah. and and what's fun you know a lot of it i've i've noticed is you know stuff that you don't think about as a as a manufacturer like safety right so you'd be like oh there's a reason they do things this way so you have to you know always change your designs to make them safe you to fit and, yeah to fit that stuff in. and to actually you know uh last yeah so yeah. it's easy to say we'll just go cut a, a hard link we'll put it on there yeah or who was all involved in the design of this thing like what what was your role in it and then yeah. who were your other team members and what were there basically it came up like yeah i want i want a cool idea you know so i, I want to have something fun to shoot yeah so I said, okay, I'll start designing this. And then, you know, as a, as a small company, you know, you need support. So yeah, we had, uh, you know, my brother's one of them, Nathan Sprague. He, he cool. designed the pipe stand that you'll see today, Sweet. which basically breaks down, you know. So I basically built the universal stand and I'm working on the, the body and I did the hooks and the brackets. But anything with the, the reactive targets and the pipe stands, that was all him. So, cool. and then our other partner, uh, Andre Bushman, you know, he's, He's throwing in little tidbits here and there, you know. Oh, let's, let's try this. Yeah. Let's try that. You, know. you got anything else you want to talk about? Is there any other? Uh, let's any go other blow it up, man. Okay, guys. So we're gonna head out to the Pro Gun Club here in Boulder City. My buddy Mark Eastman and Bobby over there hooked us up with a lane for the day, so we're able to go set up these targets and do a little shooting. Now, later on, you're gonna see another video come out from us, Prescott Caliber Club, and we're gonna finish up the series here. Um, and that's going to be when, when Chris gets the actual body and all of that part done. For now, we're going to go out to the range and we're going to shoot the hanging, swinging targets, reactive targets, stuff like that. We're going to see what we can, uh, what we can play with here. So for the time being, um, the target is still in what production phase, development. yeah, development yeah. and production. So we're hoping that down in the description section or comment section down below that a lot of you guys could maybe ask questions, make some comments, let us know, because that will help guide the way that Chris actually goes about designing this target. So if there's anything you guys are wondering, please ask down below so you know we can make this stuff uh, added into the target design, I guess. So I don't think I have anything else for you guys. Let's, uh, let's just head on over to the gun club.
it's important for people to know it's 110 out here right now. <laughs> Brackets will mount in single position. It actually has three positions. This one, another one, and the widest one. So we're gonna go to the widest one right now. Third position is built to hold three of these to pin up. So we got the shorties, and we got a medium size, and we got a long size. So all of these holes, they're three inches center. All of our targets are built on a three inch center. So it'll, it'll either be a single hanger or a double hanger if you want more stability. But the other thing is they're designed for that angle up there for a natural repose. So when you hit it, your target is already angled, you know, roughly 20 degrees back. So you're losing energy in the swing and in the angle. A few different standard shapes that we offer. Right? You got a star, you got a bear. So this is armor, that comes standard. Now we have the options to hang the armor here to protect this pipe. Another thing he's showing here, this is like an optional build, and then he also designed it to use a tube. So you can go get a tube, and this actually works with the reactive target and these hangers. Okay, so it fits over. Yeah. So you could do one stand with the hangers on both sides type of thing? Yeah, you could. Or two stands with a long one or hover. Or the stand by itself without this yeah, yeah. at all. Yeah, no, we're gonna do right now. Yeah. I have to buy two stands to have a makeshift uh, you know, shooting gallery, right? No. So basically this setup is 200, right?
right, guys, we made it back safe from Vegas. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Bobby and Mark Eastman over at the Pro Gun Club in Vegas. If you guys are ever in the Las Vegas area and you're wanting to get a little range time in, check them out. Head on over to Pro Gun Vegas. Absolutely my favorite spot to shoot in the Vegas area. As far as ACA, American Contractors Academy, and their targets go, I thought these things were really awesome. I think what Chris said earlier in this video is absolutely spot on. You're getting a better product. I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of guy who likes to get good stuff, especially when it comes to tools, especially when it comes to my 2A gear. I don't want chintzy, raggedy stuff that's going to be falling apart, tipping over, one shot through it and it's busted, that kind of stuff. So I thought that these targets from ACA were absolutely awesome. The steel was awesome. The, um, the chest with the lungs, the flapper lungs and stuff, all that stuff was really cool. But that wasn't what caught my attention the most. It was the quality of the stands. It was the quality of the frames and the ingenuity that went into um, you know, making them fold so that you could stand them up and do all these different things as a, you know, just by yourself as one man. I thought that that was very cool. Now in some future videos, we're going to be uh, reviewing the full man size target. We'll let you guys know any changes that were made, you know, to the original design of, of these stands and targets and stuff like that. But in the meantime, what we're going to be doing is a lot of research and development on these targets. So please guys, jump in the comment section down below and let us know what you think. Thoughts, ideas, likes, dislikes, all of that stuff. Please let us know in the comment section down below so that we can build you a better target. But until next week, I don't have anything else for you guys, so I hope that you'll just stay safe and keep practicing.